Tonight, security video showing the dramatic 5.30 a.m. raid inside a hospital in the occupied West Bank. Those are undercover Israeli commandos, some disguised as medical staff in scrubs, others as Palestinian women in headscarves. Their weapons reportedly equipped with silencers. Israel saying the commandos killed a Hamas operative who was planning an imminent terror attack, along with two members of Palestinian Islamic Jihad. Tonight, those groups acknowledging their members were killed. One was shot at close range while sleeping in his hospital bed, according to medical officials. The Palestinian Authority condemning the raid as a war crime. Israel, of course, has the right to carry out operations to bring terrorists to justice, but those operations need to be conducted in full compliance with international humanitarian law. It comes as a potential deal to pause the fighting in Gaza for two months and free hostages held by Hamas hangs in the balance. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu under pressure from the far right of his cabinet tonight saying he won't release thousands of terrorists from Israeli prisons, a key Hamas demand. Hamas saying it's studying the proposal, but insisting any deal must end the war, something Israel has rejected. And the families of some of the six American hostages met with National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan in Washington tonight. They got an update on U.S. efforts to broker a deal to free their loved ones. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.